Hello everyone, today I will show you how to optimize your virtual desktop settings and your Microsoft Flight Simulator settings to get maximum from your Quest 3 if you have similar machine like mine. I have RTX 3080 12 gigabytes, Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So actually if you have 3070 3080 or 3090 you should be fine with these settings and get stable 45 fps you know in your microsoft flight simulator so we will start first with those settings here and in nvidia control panel actually i didn't touch so much so i changed only one setting and it's virtual reality pre-rendered frame so i set this to two by default it's one and here in virtual desktop streamer app on my pc prefer codec i choose have 10 bit i can choose av1 10 bit quest 3 because i don't have rtx 40 series open xr runtime is vdxr and all other settings actually i didn't touch they are all by default and here on virtual desktop on my quest 3 i set vr graphics quality to godlike actually it says that you need rtx 1490 but actually you can choose the godlike with 3080 but you must lower the vr bitrate maximum to 120 if you go above that 140 or 150 you will have crash to desktop in microsoft flight simulator so actually you can put to 200 but you can't choose the godlike you can choose the ultra but with ultra i'm in picture quality and uh, clarity it's not so good not so perfect so my sweet spot is 90 fps 90 hertz so i tested on 120 but i have so many stutters and it doesn't work very well 80 fps is also good but for my machine i found that 90 fps it's absolutely fine so sharpening down 75 percent um space warp always enable it so it helps a lot to get stable 45 fps in my case and advanced options so snapdragon game super resolution leave that on and video buffering for sure leave that on because those those two options it, they they help a lot and down there actually i didn't touch i think everything is by default uh, yes increase color vibrance yes it looks better and increase video nominal range make dark colors darker and bright colors brighter it depends of you personally i don't like and also show performance overlay so yes i watched so many videos on youtube test it microsoft flight simulator and virtual desktop on quest 3 and so many people they say that you need powerful gpu like a rtx 1490 if you want to get good picture quality and and maximum from your quest 3 actually i don't agree with that after all that videos i still believe that i can set up the quest 3 uh, optimal for my for my machine and it's really like that like that i i get stable 45 fps with my rtx 3080 12 gigabytes so yes i mean let's let's jump to microsoft flight simulator i will show you there my settings and we will make test flight in new york so actually if it's working very well in new york it should work everywhere where, where you fly so new york is like a measure for stable performance okay here we are in microsoft fly simulator settings as you can see i'm using direx 11 those settings are for monitor and i will switch here to my vr settings those are my vr settings as you can see here uh, feel free to copy them and to try to test how it's working for you if you have similar machine like mine so you can check all these settings here and those settings are optimal for my machine to get 45 
FPS with my Quest 3. So now let's jump in flight. So here we are in New York City. I choose Discovery Flight and we are in Cessna 172. And as you can see, up 45 FPS in OpenXR Toolkit. Don't look down on performance overlay because it doesn't show correct because I turn on space warp and it's always turned it on. So actually we get uh, 45 FPS, not 90 as it say there. And latency, as you can see, uh, 59 milliseconds game, zero milliseconds, but that is thanks to turbo mode. Uh, take attention on performance overlay. Take attention on latency. It's 59 milliseconds and here is game zero milliseconds and, and sometimes one. And take, uh, take, uh, take attention on this when I turn off turbo mode. What will happen? Look now. The game is 20 milliseconds and latency is 79, is going to 80, as you can see. So actually turbo mode, it helps with latency. And yes, I mean, when I tur turn off turbo mode, maybe performance are a little bit better but i don't know i mean you can experiment you can you can explore with this and when i turn on turbo mode as you can see the latency is going down to 50 milliseconds to, to 50 milliseconds and the game is going to zero milliseconds so actually you can explore with that option i then i don't see difference in performance now i'm turning around my head and there is no stutters it's very smooth so yes stable 45 fps so i'm turning around and it's still 45 and as as you can see gpu headroom is 12 percent so yes those settings with 30 80 12 gigabytes it's absolutely amazing. I mean, textures are so sharp. I can see everything down. It's so clear. I mean, Quest 3 is amazing headset. I, I, I was using HP Reverb G2 for two years, but the difference between G2 and Quest 3 is, is really big. I mean, it's, it's a huge difference. And for sure, it's better overall, overall experience with quest 3 is better so yes as you can see in new york city stable 45 fps and this is amazing that you can get this with 30 80 or maybe 30 70 or 30 90 but the point is to not spend more than 2000 euros on 14 90 it's not fun for me i mean if i spend 2000 euros Honestly, it should it should prepare free coffee for me every day. I see some people on YouTube, they have 1490 and they lowering the settings in Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's the nightmare. I mean, it's a nightmare. It's terrible to 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 pay for something more than 2000 euros and after all that to lower in the settings. I mean, for me, it's better to lower in the settings for 600 euros, not for 2000. So actually, my point is to not give so much money on machine, to not give so much money on the GPU and to be happy. So this is it. This is amazing. As you can see up 45 FPS, very stable above the New York. Look at these textures. Oh. It's so clear, so sharp. This is amazing. Yes. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.